little viewing stations. Huh? Yes. And we would go in there and view, but you put your money in and it's like three minutes for like a dollar. And we would go in there and watch lesbian porn. Um, I don't know where she is now. 
and yeah so that that kind of like started it for me um of course i think i was way too young to understand what was going on or you know who you don't know anything um sexual at that age but i definitely as time went by and um before or when i decided that I wanted to try women I realized that certain individuals I realized along the way that they all share some common um, characteristics um, features what are you looking at I'm just looking at your story baby oh etc um, I'm looking at her because everybody swear I have a type and I'm wondering that's why if she looking at me because of that um, and that might be another story time um, but everybody swears that I have a type. Comment down below if y'all think what that might be. Why she looking at me like that? Why everybody assumes that I have a type? Anyway, y'all. I don't like to think that I do, but a lot of people think that I do. So anyway, I realized that I would tend to gravitate to a certain look. Um, a lot of uh, features were the same. Um, you guys learn about me. I'm a hair, skin, and teeth per uh, person. So those are huge. Um, I don't want to say. Well, I don't want to say huge. I, guess, I don't want to say fetish. But that is kind of how it starts for me, or my definition of beauty. I'm, and when I say hair, it doesn't necessarily have to be long or a certain type. I just like thick hair. You can have like nice, healthy hair. It can be a complete low boy number one, whatever you want to call it. But it needs to be nice, still really nice hair. I like nice skin, um, nice healthy teeth, etc. Um, what? Babe, I'm just listening to the story. So, uh, sipping my cocoa. So, um, Y'all, this cocoa real good. Like, it is really good. Rich, but really good. I need a bottle of water after this, but it, it tastes like, to give you guys an idea of what it tastes like, I would say if you put a chocolate cake in the blender and puree it, then heated it up, <laughs> this is wow. what, you, what, a, what a description, babe. No? It's nice and thick and rich. It's thick. It's rich. But, you know, that's what sets it apart, I guess. Mmm. Mm. If you ever watched the Food Channel, I think Italy is, of course, very big on chocolate. And there's this place that I want. I can't think of the name of the place now, and I'll try to find it. Comment down below or add it in the description when I edit. But there's a uh, a, a very uh, famous Italian chocolate coffee. I'm sorry, chocolate shop or boutique or whatever restaurant. I don't know what they call it. And that's one of their specialties. But it's way bigger than this. It's almost like... Oh, wow. Um, I don't even know. It's just really, really, really thick. If I you were to scoop it with a spoon, you, um, huh? How would you even drink that? Well, I think you're supposed to use like your biscotti and stuff like that in there. Oh, okay. But it, it is not, it's probably the half size of this cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, what was that? You're not having a type. Oh yeah. So anyway, I don't think that I have a type. Or whatever so when I look back and um, I realize oh, maybe it's not necessarily a type I just like what I like and when I begin liking girls they kind of the uh, rolled into that as well so when I first decided that you know what this is not just um some kind of phase or whatever this is something that i really want to give a go and ironically when i accepted the fact that i am sexually attracted to women i prefer femme girls at the time or thought let me say i thought that <laughs> what so mc light did it for me um, the brat at the time, even though she was like in the, in the middle, um, and, uh, Trina, I, yeah. <laughs> Why are you crazy? Nothing. It's very interesting. 
that you know my first experience would have been with a film girl but it was not nothing <laughs> nowhere near that hmm. so yeah that's my story time i hope that you guys enjoyed my part i guess i'm trying to see if i told you all everything you got any questions for me so really how did you know you like girls just your attraction my attraction oh so my attraction i guess i'll back it up a little bit so i started having certain dreams um and i was in a relationship had a sex had a sexual relationship and it was beginning to occur more and more and more um and i remember it getting to a point where i um, wanted that more than my current situation, although I had never experienced it before. How old were you then? When I was having those dreams? Uh -huh. Uh, 24. Okay. I was, no, it was around, uh, I'm sorry, my first time was 24, so those dreams was happening around 21, 22. Oh, and then I remember, oh my God, my story time is all over the place. Going back, it's like coming back to me now. Maybe I needed some sugar. The sugar's going on my head now. So going back, my cousins and I, let me tell you, because we all was kind of in that teenager. We were working adults, so young adults. We were all about maybe 18, 19, 20, because that's how we are age. Um, and we all worked at the same job. And we would get off work and we would go this is so this is weird guys we would go to the um porn, not porn store but the the um what do you call it the toy store the sex toy store and this particular store at the time we were going was in like a um rent a car area and i guess they expected certain tourists i don't know what they expected but they had little viewing stations. Huh? Yes. And we would go in there and you put you put your money in and it's like three minutes for like a dollar. And we would go in there and watch lesbian porn. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> we would go in there and watch lesbian porn. It was in Miami, right around Miami Airport. I can't remember, it's probably still there because it was a really huge place. Um, and at the time it was next to Dollar Rent a Car, which is now, you know, it's a huge rent a car center now, but it was right next to a Dollar Rent a Car that you had Flanagan's and of course the sex store. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We enjoyed those movies so much on our day off, we would go to other places <laughs> and watch lesbian porn. Yeah. And they, we would talk about it. We would go to the mall and that was always one of the main topics that we will talk about. So, one of my cousins had some friends, some stripper friends, and they set it up that where everyone would come to her apartment at the time and have their first experience with a girl. Yours truly chickened out. I believe it. You believe it? That you check it out, yes. Well, a, how do you not believe I'm a very private person, though? So for me... I said I believe it that you check it oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you said you didn't believe it. Oh, yeah. I believe that you Yeah. I, even though it wouldn't be like... We were having like... We weren't going to have like the... A, um... Orgy. Orgy. But I'm still not comfortable with that. You know what I mean? Because like my cousin was in one bathroom. The other one was in the living room. And then one was in the room. And I was just like... And... They were strippers. I'm the type of person where even though we were young, I've always needed a connection, some type of connection with that person. So I couldn't just, even though these women were, these girls are beautiful, they were strippers. I don't know your lifestyle. I don't know who you've been hanging with. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, but they all went through with it. All of them. All of them went through with it, except yours truly. Um, did they come back and tell you what happened? Yeah, they were very excited, and I was very ill, <laughs> like, because I didn't get to do it, but I was just like, that's not the way I wanted my first experience to be, um, and I think at that moment, I realized that it was more, it was more serious for me also, it was not just something that I wanted to, um, 
fool around with but I I know deep down inside I didn't or I wasn't bisexual let me say that um I knew that I know I was done with guys um and I wanted to pursue women and just be with women even though I hadn't experienced it which is crazy because I didn't know all of that just then like when it was happening but I think deep down inside something was like okay well I want I wanted to be more if that makes sense um, so I remember a second opportunity like that came about um, with another friend, and I was just like, mm mm. She was my Cuban friend. <laughs> mm mm. Um, and I got out of the relationship that I was in, and I kind of like chilled out for a year. I didn't know that was the route I was going, but I knew it was there. It was there. I was still very attracted to girls. I was always looking at girls. Any porn that I was watch, back then it was a VCR tape. So I would always fast forward through the heterosexual. <laughs> I would fast forward through the girl boy scene to the lesbian scene. And yeah. And at the time, before all of that, the person I was living with kind of felt that. So he would, he actually recorded over the lesbian scene. So now I was left with nothing because I was watching that shit while he was coming over. Hell no. I really was. What? No, nothing. And yeah. So my, I remember one friend was like, she was telling me like, I was like to hush the bed or whatever. And I'm like, that sounds painful. And, and, so that could be your practice? Yeah. Cause I was like, oh my God, what do I do after that? Cause I wasn't, experiencing with like pleasing myself or whatever so i was just watching it like oh and i remember this one was this dark skin girl who was thick nice body nice bottom fat booty <laughs> good and she would be dancing for me in the dream and she would have like i was a big coca cola fan back when i was younger and she would have a bottle of coca-cola and she would pour it over herself like this and it would I would watch it go down drip down her body and guess who was at the bottom waiting to catch it with their mouth that be you it was me <laughs> and that's how I do I was like I'm ready because before I was like oh my god I would be thinking about the actual act can I do that? You know, in the videos that I was watching, I was like, oh, they get real wet. I don't know if I'm ready <laughs> or whatever. But as time <coughs> went by, what was like, I don't know, turned to, oh, I want that. You know what I mean? I want that. I want to experience that. And so, yeah, that was, that was it for me. Juicy, okay. huh? Your mouth okay? Just follow me a little bit. That's pretty interesting, baby. All right, guys, so I guess it's my turn. He is. So how did I know I like girls? Well, everybody seemed to want to tell me, and I let me figure it out on my own. I think it started when I was in, I can't remember, like middle school, maybe. I used to get teased. Well, so I was a hot ass in elementary, huh? Well, well it wasn't sexual for me in elementary, so I guess. I don't remember anything in elementary school significant. It was more of middle school and high school. Uh -huh. Middle school, I used to get picked on and well, I don't know what to call it picked on, but like boys used to always call me gay and tell me I like girls because I used to always, it was just more of an always defend my girlfriends or whatever. So you say, you're telling that story to say that you didn't know at that time that you were like girls? I didn't say, I didn't know, I just knew. I mean, that's something I did do, so it made me start thinking. So like, you didn't know? What? When did you know? I'm building up to that. Oh, okay. Can I, can I tell my story? Can I interrupt your story? You did, but is it like you're taking us to Haiti and coming on back to Georgia? Go ahead with that time. Did I say anything about where you was with your story and how you told your story? <laughs> yes or no? It's a yes or no question. Did I? No. Okay. Back to my story, guys. Sorry for the interruption. So, I used to get teased. Or whatever. Probably I did know, but I wasn't. 
I was Well, our, like, the I was story time it. is, when did you know? We can didn't I ask about up? who teased you? Did you kind of know? When did you know who? I'm telling it. Okay. My way. So I got teased. I got the guys used to pick on me. The boys would pick on me or whatever. And I guess at that point I started thinking whatever. And I was like, okay, if I had girls, whatever. I um, it was just a thought. I didn't act on anything. It was just a thought. So in high school, the same thing started happening. I was a military trial, so I moved. I was in Germany in middle school, and then I moved to my dad got stationed in Fort Lauderdale, which is in Missouri. And I went to high school there. So the same thing started happening again. So I can say when I was about 15, um, which makes me a freshman in high school, when I, that's when I guess I actually came to terms with it and knew I liked girls. What happened that made you think that? Or make you, what happened that? Well, the same thing happened you know? again, the, the teasing, getting talked about, oh, you like girls? Cause I used to do, I guess certain things I used to do. I don't know. But I remember one day my neighbor, um, my neighbor's son, me and him became really cool or whatever. So boys end up becoming just like my homeboys or whatever and my friends. And one day me and him were, um, it was Halloween and we was walking and talking. And he was like, he just pretty much told me, he's like, Tony, stop fighting it. Everything? Yeah. So I was fuck with him. I mean, I just, I guess I was learning and realized I started having these feelings for girls and I was liking girls. In my mind, of course, the way you brought up in ways like you shouldn't like girls like that. But I knew I was, so, and he caught on to it too. So he was like, Toya, just admit to stop playing. So I was like, dude, what are you talking about? So he was like, I know. So I was playing dumb. I was like, what do you know? He was like, I know you like girls, stop. Just come out and say it. So at 15, he was actually, as far as male goes, he was the first person that I guess I admitted to and I told. I was having these feelings for girls, like looking at them, talking to them, like I was liking them, liking them. Probably the way, you know, the world portrays that you should like a dude. Yeah. So I guess I was 15, as far as my age goes. And I didn't act on or anything. I just, it was between me and him, because I don't think I didn't tell anybody else until I was 17. And I was getting ready to graduate high school. And that's when I really, really came to terms with it. Um, I told my best friend, or whatever, which was a female, that I thought like girls, I wanted to act on it. So when I moved to Georgia, I graduated high school, I moved to Georgia to go to college. And y'all know, if you went to college straight out of high school, you're gonna have some fun. So when I went to college, all hell broke loose and I moved to Atlanta so y'all know what they say about Atlanta what they say about Atlanta and, and being gay oh it's everywhere no uh, but I didn't act on it until I was 17 or excuse me 19 actually when I moved down here to go to college so you're, how old were you when you had your first experience 19 that been down with it ever since best thing in life. It is. The. <laughs> so to answer the question pretty much, I realized when I was in middle school, 12, 13, but I didn't, I was in denial about it, I didn't want to admit it. I didn't admit it until I was 15. I didn't act on it until I was 19. Thank you. So our next story time. So wait, real quick, babe, why she trying to interrupt? Just like, I'm the same way as my wife was. Like, I didn't just want to do it. Even though I knew, I just didn't want to do it with anybody. I needed that connection also. So that's why I didn't act on it until I was 19. I was not as fun. I was we, you, you had us thinking you was going buck around to college. No. I oh. dated a few people or whatever, but sexually acting on it, I didn't act on it until I was 19. Oh. Yeah, I was out there. I was going to the club. So you were just tongue-kissing like, it. it. She was one of those tongue-kissing bandits. That's what you was, one of them. <laughs> I, I know I've known a few. Okay. You were them? Yeah. Be kissing. Let's kiss for hours. A little fingering. No? No. <laughs> Dating me all out. I went to the gay clubs. I, I started having gay friends. But sexually acting on I did not act on until I was 19. Hmm. Okay. So. Y'all see, she tried to. Y'all 
see that? Did y'all see that? I'm looking for answers for, for the fans. Did y'all see that? Y'all need answers. I'm here for y'all. Anyway. Y'all need answers. I gave them. You ain't gonna be pussyfoot around this hill start. I didn't. I answered the question. Cause she said she was when she went to college and everything was. What you said? What was the words you used? All hell broke loose. We're just Many y'all was out there in the gay scene. We're just seeking. We're just seeking the for the conversation. I, I was meaning I was going to the clubs. I was getting everything I felt like I missed. But sexually, I did not act on top. Right. Right. So you were 19. I believe I was 24. Yeah, I was 24. I know I ain't turned back since. Neither have I. There have, there's been no interruptions, no in between for me at all. Cause like I said, I knew, I knew I wasn't bisexual. So once I made a decision after my first experience, my, after my first experience, that was it for me. And let us know below, comment down below if you all want to learn about our first experience. You wouldn't share? She's afraid to share that first experience. I mean, there's not, I don't know. My memory's kind of fucked with it. I remember who it was. Okay. And where we was, but if y'all talking about going in detail or whatever, I don't. I don't think about the thing. Maybe I have to stop thinking about it. Okay. Comment down below if y'all want Toya to think about it and tell the damn story. <laughs> my mouth hurts y'all. No comment. To my wife's foolishness. So guys, if this is your first time watching us, Kelly and Toya, and KT fam, hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing, if you feel like rocking with us. For returning subbies. Thank you. We, we love y'all. Share this video. Like this video. Comment down below. Tells you got the gist of what our story time was about. Yeah. What? If y'all want to tell us about. Yes, we are excited. I'm excited. I love to hear whether it's a love story, some first, some then with the same experience person, to be tragic. But let us know. How did you know? Are you still with that person? Are you? I mean, did you? Are y'all friends? Anything? Did what did you act on it when you knew? Are you still with that person? Whatever. Whatever you want to share. Let us know. Comment down below. We would love to hear your story on how you knew when you first was attracted to girls. Oh, boys. Whatever. You want to hear your story? Well, I'm acting like I had some, something to drink. No. Probably because I'm going to have a drink. In your cocoa? I might know. I'm going to have a meal. I think I'm going to have a shot. Well, along with my tooth pulling, I can't have any alcohol. It's okay, I have, I have two shots. I don't eat it. Sucks to be me right now. But it's all good, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Comment, share. Definitely subscribe. Let us know also, start your video off. Let us know how the uh, sound quality of this video is because we bought a microphone and keep forgetting to use, to use the microphone. Yes. If y'all need to hear us better, whatever the case may be, um, let us know. So maybe we actually remember to use the mic that we bought. <laughs> Excuse right. us, y'all. All right, guys. Always, always, always live, live life boldly, guys. <laughs>